Hello and welcome to another Bushwhacker Review. Today we're going to be taking a look at Jimmy Spencer's big Kmart Ford from 2000. But not only that, we're going to be taking a look at a comparison between Team Caliber and Action Racing Collectibles. This happens to be one of those cars that actually got made in both lines, so why not compare the molds, the decals, everything of that nature. Why don't we just take a quick look at the boxes first, get these cars out of the way first. It was basically a mistake why I ended up with both of these, but... <laughs> You know, might as well get a video out of it. So here's Team Caliber's box. You see, it's just kind of got a gray, like almost asphalt looking pattern. Big 26 on it. Jimmy Spencer, big Kmart, Team Caliber preferred. Team Caliber wise, they made a total of 5,508 plus 504 banks. Limited edition adult collectible. Team Caliber preferred. Jimmy Spencer, big Kmart. Team Caliber on this side, just kind of basic box. Pretty generic as far as I'm concerned. Here is Action's box. Much better artwork. Big Kmart, Jimmy Spencer, 26, his signature. 124 scale stock car. Jimmy Spencer. Action Racing Collectibles, actiongoracing.com. I don't know why those stickers are there, but that's from the eBay seller. As far as these went, they made me a total of 4,500. As far as the boxes go, I think I have to give Action the point, because, you know... I definitely do like the artwork on the box better than the gray box. But, let's get down to the cars themselves. Here they are next to each other. We have the Team Caliber on the left. And on the right, we have the Action Racing Collectibles. Basically, this is what is now the Platinum Series of Action. So, as far as I'm concerned, these are the correct lines to, you know, compare and contrast. Why don't we just begin on the front? The Team Caliber mold is a little bit bigger, thicker, wider, and that always I, I always like that more. I don't know if technically the you know skinnier, kind of less proportioned action one is more accurate or not, but the Team Caliber just has a much better feel and look to it. See, there's some like you know differences like on the action, the Kmart logo is in the headlight, and the Taurus logo is in black, kind of above the white. Where on this car, the Kmart logo is down here under the headlight, and the Taurus logo is in blue. There's a little bit of red you see around the front of the action car that is not there on the Team Caliber car. You see, the Team Caliber car definitely has more contingencies on it. Like, got piled up with contingencies, but this one just has like a Pansky type stack. I think it look down the backs here. You see that, once again, the Team Caliber has much more stuff on it. Like, all these sponsors right here are not on the action car, nothing on the B post of the action car. Still has BlueLight.com, Big Kmart, Route 66. Backs are pretty much the same. There you can kind of see the size difference a little bit more obviously. Back corners, you know, basically the same. Little Route 66 logo on the left side. Which, you know, a media comparison, I definitely think the Team Caliber is better. It's got more decals and is more accurate as far as I can tell. I don't know if they are produced at different times. Like, I don't know if this, this came out, like, you know, in August, and that came out in, like, February, so that's why there's more logos is more accurate. It's not perfectly accurate, because yeah, I was looking at pictures, and, I mean, it's one of those that some of these logos change all the time. So, you know, you can never really be too sure exactly what's perfectly accurate, because I saw there was, like, a Penske logo here for some reason, probably, like, Penske Racing Engines or something. There's a few different logos that changed around down here and so on and so forth. But Why don't we just talk about each individual sponsor like we typically do for a review? So, here's the Team Caliber release. Got big Kmart on the hood. Ford Taurus, number 26. Kmart Racing. And Haas Carter Racing. Or, that's probably not right, but whatever. <laughs> Down the side, you have big Kmart. You got Route 66. Then there you have Lincoln Electric, Sykins, International Trucks, and Mac Tools. Got BlueLight.com back there. On the B post, you have Ford Racing, Kmart Racing, and Mega Blocks. That's kind of funny to see on this car. So it does have a ton of contingency sponsors. NASCAR 2000, Winston Cup, Budweiser, all that good stuff. On the back, you have Big Kmart, Route 66, Ford, and 26. Big Kmart again on the deck lid. Same stuff down the other side. Also interesting to note that the uh, this one has Jimmy Spencer's name written out, where this one has like full-on autograph signature type thing going on. But let's take a look under the hood. If it wants to open. Here you can see the engine detail. Why don't we get the action one out here to take a look at the difference in the engine detail. 
You see the team calibers is definitely more detailed in there. Actions has big Kmart on the underside of the hood where the team caliber doesn't. Not sure why that is. Take a look under the deck lid. Typical fuel cells in both sides. They both look pretty much, I'm not sure exactly which one's more accurate, but you know, who really cares about the fuel cells anyways. This one does have roof flaps so that do open. Which they don't want to open, but they're there. Hopefully you can see that. They do have opening roof flaps back then where, you know, Action didn't do that until 2005 as far as the ARCs go. So, there's another point Team Caliber. I will say something that does wonder me a little bit is right here. The, the 2000 logo, the NASCAR 2000 logo, I'm pretty sure it is supposed to be on the A post. I don't know if it was all the way down here or not, but most of the die kits I've ever seen are on the A post. So, not sure how that works. But See, there's more detail on the windshields too. This one's got little silver tabs on all the sides and silver bars where this one's just solid black. As far as sponsors go on this one, it's basically the exact same sponsors and everything, but you know, much less of them. But you know, Big Kmart Route 66, BlueLight.com, Big Kmart Route 66, 26, Ford, Big Kmart.com, Big Kmart, blah, blah, blah. So, you know, having these next to each other, I definitely have to give the point that the Team Calibers are superior. Sadly, Team Calibers not around anymore. They kind of merged with Motorsports Authentics in like 2007, so. I kind of miss Team Caliber. We really just need something different these days. Like, I, I think that's half the reason we have so many issues with, like, companies is because, like, or Lionel, really, just because it's, like, they, they have no com competition. Like, back then, they kind of had to, like, constantly try to one-up each other and, like, sell a better product. So, you know, it was kind of made for, you know, better products. Now Lionel has no competition, so they can just, you know, cancel cars all they want, do whatever they want, and, like, keep taking out details or raising the prices to other details. Just, it's kind of weird. But as far as back then, if there's any car you're looking at that has both, I would say I definitely recommend picking up the Team Caliber over the Action car. It just has a better feel, just a better look. It's more accurate. Like, you can't go wrong. It even has a rubber window net on the Team Caliber. This one's just a plastic one. You see there's another change. The, this one has red roof rails, where this one just has blue as the car. I feel like the red would be more accurate, but, I mean, the blue looks fine, so I don't know. But... Even the grill piece is like an actual mesh, like metal grill piece instead of just painted silver. So, another detail of the Team Caliber. So, both Team Caliber and Action had kind of a higher line and a lower line. Team Caliber had the Owner Series, whereas Action had the Elite Series. Lower Series, there was the Pit Stop Series for Team Caliber, and I forget exactly what they called the Action Series. It was like, it was like, basically it was Gold Series now, but I'm not sure what it was called back then. Team Caliber even had a higher level than that. It was the first choice series. They came with like a pit box display, had like 10 times more detail. Those were sweet. But I think now all the diecast we have right now is Action and then, or Lionel, Action, and then University of Racing. But University of Racing makes classic cars from the 60s and 70s, where Lionel makes current cars. Well, they try to make occasionally classic cars too, but that's not really much of a competition. I mean, University of Racing kind of blows Lionel out of the water now, but based on their detail of their cars, but oh well. But well, I think that's really all I should say. This has been a review of Jimmy Spencer's big Kmart Ford from 2000 and a comparison to Team Caliber versus Action Racing Collectibles. Hope you enjoyed and thanks for watching.